Well, good morning, boys and girls. Uh, Bernard here, and I want to go to a story a long, 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 long way away in a time far, far, far ago where there was, no, it's not Star Wars, where there was a very foolish king, a really evil vizier who's an advisor, a scared little girl, and a bloke who had to protect her. Does that sound like anything you guys have ever listened to, watched, or read in the last few years? It does. Sounds like Star Wars, sounds like Aladdin. But let me tell you, it's not on Netflix. It's not on Disney. It's in the Bible, which means that it's real and that it's true. Uh, the problem is there are lots of books in the Bible, and as we begin the book of Esther, we've got to work out where it is in these books. So I've got my handsome, they're not beautiful, they're handsome assistants here, And uh, we're going to hang up on the clothesline some markers so we can work out where we are. And firstly, actually, I need another assistant to come and help me. Uh, Yes, I'm going to ask, yes, come up here, Master. You can stand over here and hold these for me carefully, okay? So we're going to start with Jesus. And we're going to whack Jesus over here, okay? So everyone knows where Jesus is. We've just celebrated something about Jesus, haven't we? What have we celebrated? His what? Well, that was a few months ago, but after that comes Easter. Easter, so his death and resurrection. And the book we're looking at is the book of, can everyone say Esther? Esther. Esther. So when you get home and you look in the index of your Bibles, you know where it is. And we're going to put Esther about here. Is Esther a boy's name or a girl's name? It's a girl's name, that's right. And Esther is about 483 years before Jesus. Is that a short time or a big time? That's a big time. Uh, Here's another bloke that we know. What's this bloke's name? His name is Daniel. Who did Daniel hang out with at least once in his life? A whole bunch of lions. That's right. And he was safe. And Daniel, we got a date down here. He's 605. So is he closer to Jesus or further away? He's further away. That's right. So we're going to whack Daniel down here. And Daniel's at a time when God's mob get kicked out of the land. Because they've been really good or they've rejected God. Which one? They rejected God. That's right. Well, here's a bloke who you mightn't have heard of. What's his name? His name is? What is it, Elsa? Haggai. Anyone here named Haggai? Anyone got the middle name Haggai? Adults? Anyone met a Haggai lately? No, that's right. I've only met one. He's in the Bible. And Haggai, 520 BC. So is he that side or this side? Thank you. He's this side. This side, before or after Daniel, that side of Daniel. Well done. Good job, Miss Connerty. That's Haggai. Haggai's job was to be a prophet. His job was to talk about God to God's people. You're doing such a good job. No paper cuts? No. Terrific. No worries. Oh, so here we've got another guy. What's his name? Zechariah. Zechariah. Thank you, Miss Whiteman. Now, oh, Zechariah, you notice he's got a similar date to Haggai. They hung out together. They hung out together. And they've come back from the exile, and they start rebuilding a really big house in Jerusalem. What's the house? Andy? The temple, that's right. And the temple's a picture that God hangs out with his mob, isn't it? That's right. So they're rebuilding. So here we've got Esther. There we've got Jesus. Here we've got Daniel, Haggai, Zechariah. Two other books in the Bible. This guy's the tallest man in the Bible. What's his name? Nehemiah. That's right. He's the tallest man in the Bible. Now, Nehemiah, 443 BC. So is he... That side of Esther or this side of Esther? Thank you, Miss Connerty. He's this side of Esther over here. And Nehemiah hangs out the same place these guys hang out, but he helps in the rebuilding of God's capital city, which is Jerusalem. Good answer, Jerusalem. And here's our last bloke to fit everyone in. What's this bloke's name? Ezra. Thank you. You can grab a seat. You've done a great job. Ezra. Ezra is hanging out with Nehemiah too. And they're both prophets who remind God's mob to come back to God. All right, now you know where Daniel, now you know where Esther fits. Okay, Esther is connected to Daniel, Haggai, Zechariah, Nehemiah, Ezra, and Esther's also connected to? That's right, but you know what? God isn't even mentioned in the book. I know! <laughs> and, and do you know what? He's not even, this book says not even mentioned in Jesus' life or in the New Testament. That's right. And so one of the questions we've got to ask ourselves is, 
Why is a book like this in God's Word? And one of the things we're going to learn over the next four weeks is that even though God isn't mentioned, do you reckon God is still there in the book of Esther? He is because God never changes and he always looks after his mob. So now you know where Esther is in the Bible and you can open it up. You don't go and look for it on Disney or Netflix because it's real and you can actually read it and see what God is doing. How about we pray and then we'll grab our kids' sheets. Dear God, thanks for your word. I thank you for the little book of Esther. It is so strange. It is so far away. It is so different. You're not even mentioned, but you are always there. Please remind us of that today. Amen.